Greetings to our fellow citizens of the United States of America. It's been a long hard year since last July. We've seen our brothers and sisters beaten and killed. We've watched our businesses and sanctuaries destroyed. We've awoken to factions of our government reaching beyond their limits with nefarious intentions. Yet as we approach our nation's independence day it is hard not to feel freer than we were. We have seen the address of grievances over militarized policing, racial and ethnic profiling, and police brutality. We have watched bad police officers, corporate suits, bankers, and politicians get charged for their bad deeds. And we have witnessed the rights to freedom and equality passed to even more of our brothers and sisters. The road before us is not easy nor is it clear, and may never be. Yet we must come to realize we have accomplished so much as a people and nation. So the opera kips at anonymous G-Hops will not be dispatched this 4th of July to hand out constitutions and propaganda as in the years past. Our goal as always has been to bring you, the people, information necessary in attaining and securing freedom and equality. You the people have taken this information and are beginning to awaken. We are all starting to converse and act as more civilized and intellectual people. Though we will continue our mission and encourage all of you to continue yours, this year we have chosen to relax and bathe in the light of accomplishment, not just of our own and that of the collective known as Anonymous, but that of all our fellow Americans and brothers and sisters from around the globe. Those of you already in the good fight have shown that by seeking to ascertain good information and truth, we can put action into endeavors of freedom which pay off big. This year we have finally declared our independence from fear and oppression. The majority of you are waking up to the fact that freedom is not given, nor is it taken. Freedom is a state of mind, which you as an individual must choose to live. Though there is yet much work to be done, and still so many feeling suppressed and forgotten, we cannot allow the sorrow and sadness to overcome our dignity and pride. We therefore encourage you, all of you, to become opera kips and carry the torch. There is no need for you to activize in the common sense. The country is at a tipping point and with the right amount of love, respect, and encouragement we can overcome the horrors of our hypocrisy and fulfill the ideals we brag of. So drop the charade and be the change. Let us have a day without citizens being beaten, oppressed, and killed. A day without our public safety officers being harassed, beaten, and murdered. A day without our schools, sanctuaries, and businesses being shot up and burned down. Let this Independence Day be a day of peace and unity, where we all can declare with a smile and a gleam in our eye, that we the people are whole and independent from any corrupt system and the evil they bring with them. To those of you on the front lines who along with us bear the mental scars of the good fight, thank you. Embrace the beauty we all helped expose, nourish and protect. To our fellow Americans, we wish you a safe and enjoyable Independence Day. We are all anonymous. We are legion. Expect to be free.